I'm going to show you a quick video of our 76 GMC Birch Haven. Very interesting coach. This is the 23 foot. Um, there were very few of these made. Most of these were intermodal coaches, which means they were built out to specifications such as an ambulance or an airport shuttle vehicle. This one was built by Coachman. Um, you'll notice there is some fading on the front hood of the paint and some chipping. It's an Emron paint job. However, it's uh, the front part due to the sun out here in New Mexico. It is fading and chipping. Anyway, here's the windshield. The glass is in great condition. And you notice the nice shiny bumper on the front. As we come around the passenger side, we've added an extra mirror to give it a little better visibility. This is your battery access box. Um, take the four screws out, and there you have the batteries. Much easier to get into than the old system. You'll notice we have aluminum wheels and brand new tires on it. These are the Venturi discs for uh, extra ventilation. And it does have an awning. The awning is in nice condition. There is about a 15 inch tear on this corner, but otherwise it looks like uh, pretty much brand new. Huge windows in this coach. Great visibility when you're inside. We'll come back and I'll show you how easy it is to get in. There is a, your outlet. If you're outside, you can see where a couple patches were made. This lower area could use some paint too. Here's the worst of the paint. This is the passenger side. This was exposed to the sun as we had it parked and you can see the Imran is painting and fading. Nothing we can do about that. Here you have your airbag system. Uh, the Schrader valve right there is what we use to manually inflate and deflate. It does need a new air compressor on here. Coming around, this is the back window for the bathroom. Uh, let's see, we'll come around a little further. This bumper has been extended. There's a macinerator pump or a macinerator a sewer dump hose on here. So the bumper's been extended to allow room for the hose to make dumping your sewer line easier. The back of the unit does have a ladder on it, hard shell, spare tire cover, plug for your electrical. You can see it's plugged in right now. You'll notice it does have LED tail lights, backup lights on it. Both of them are LED, we have changed those out. Coming around to the driver's side, this side looks very nice, clean, pristine. Um, generator has been removed, so it is a pull-out storage tray in there now. And there is an awning over this window. It is also in nice condition. And let's see, what else do we have here? Gas filler tank has a little uh, previous owner. Let it run out a little bit. What a shame. Anyway, let's go inside and I'll show you some of the inside. And um, we are putting this up for sale, by the way. Anticipating about 24,000, 25, 27, 22, somewhere in there for it. Here's the inside of the door. The theme of this coach is denim and diamonds. And um, you can see that I have done the inside in denim. Here's the plaque on the unit that says it was a conversion by Coachman Motorhomes. This area under here is storage, additional storage in here. Okay, we're gonna come in, it's very low step in. As you will see, they're built low to the ground because they have a front wheel drive system with the um, Olds Tornado 455 in here. So there isn't a drive line making it very low to the ground. So this is the dash, very clean, nice dash. Right here you have two battery meters that we put in there with your power points. Your foot area, foot well, is clean. This is a cubby um, that just uh, is that, a cubby. 
Let's see what's inside. Oh, nothing inside. There is an outlet in there, I believe. Yes, and there's an outlet on underneath here. The dash air blows cold. It does work. Here's a Pioneer radio. This has your cassette in it. Dash mat. I've used these uh, old denim shirts just to cover the seats. The seats do swivel, by the way, so you can turn them around. They do have armrests. They're very comfortable. And this is a power driver's seat. Okay, this concludes the front of the unit. You'll notice the ceiling is done in a carpeted material. Wonderful for sound insulation. Here's your antenna crank up. This is your air conditioner, of course, blows nice and cold. Coming around on the ceiling, here's the door. And now we're coming in. Here's the chair. This is a little leather guest chair. This table pulls out right here to give you storage room or to give you an area to play cards or have a meal or whatever you'd like to do. But this table does pull out, as you can see. And in the back here, this is a pantry area. I'm going to open this up right here. You can get a little peek in here. There's a nice shelved pantry area for your goods. Thermostat here. It does work, the furnace. Also, you do have a smoke detector here. There is all new wallpaper, along with all new single cell shades that operate with one touch cordless. Okay, let's see, what else can I show you? The windows open very well. Okay, we're looking around here. I'm going to back up, and this is a couch. It's a jackknife sofa. There's the legs. You'll notice that it does pull right out, makes into sleeping for maybe two. I think it's one, but maybe two. Underneath the sofa, we've got PEX lines in here. I also have some extra cork flooring and the table legs and a sewer hose in there. And there's your water heater. The flooring is Lisbon cork flooring. Very nice in this unit. I'm going to give you a quick overall look. Okay, back here's the bedroom. And here's the kitchen. Okay, so we'll walk back real quick. There's drawers here, double sink. The uh, blender does work. Nice backsplash, two burner stove. Hope you can see that, storage area there. Underneath this curtain is a brand new microwave. It's never been used. And we have lots of cabinet storage in here. Coming in the back, it's about a full size bed with a nice foam cushy mattress on it. We have lights in the corner, speakers in the corner, window and shades here. And there's also a power vent fan. On the very back passenger side corner is the bathroom. And it has a sink with a toilet, porcelain toilet and a shower tub combo. And all this does work. And there's a little step up right here. Throughout the coach, there's lots of storage. Here's a table that comes with it uh, that matches the countertops of everything else I just have stored. And here's your refrigerator. It's an Amish built cooling unit for the Dometic. Runs great, cools well. Anyway, that's a very brief tour of our motorhome we have up for sale. If you're interested, give us a call at 505 5369 That's 505 6205369 and I'm sure there's lots of other goodies that I skimmed right over. Uh, the curtains do wrap all the way around so it encloses the front and one other kind of cool feature is this has hidden lights. I'll show you. I'll turn those on. This is mood lighting up here. Wrong switch. How about that one? There they go. I just turned them on. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.